Okay, I'm going to try to describe the vacuum recovery system that's used in the pressure washing industry. This is a quick setup that I have made by gathering parts here and there, talking to the right people and learning. With the Recycle 16 law, you cannot have any wastewater run into a storm dryer, so this device captures water. This is a 55 gallon drum that has a pump inside it, that when the water is sucked into it, reaches a certain point level in the drum, the pump kicks on, pumps the water back into a containment unit, or you can run it through a set of series filters to reuse the water. I've got a Roots 33 URAI T series blower that uses as the vacuum source. So you pull the vacuum on the drum, which is used to suck the water up off the ground through a vacuum berm or a surface cleaner. It's fired by a 9 horse Honda, it's belt driven. With a muffler on it, standard truck muffler, nothing fancy. This one will come off of, I think, a small Ford six cylinder truck. I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of it. We're going to show you what the inside of this thing looks like. Inside of this drum contains two 200 micron bag filters that I purchased from my place. With a, the bottom of it, you can see the drum, or er, with the pump inside of it, which is connected onto a standard water hose connection. That is the quick connect for the vacuum. Now inside the container here is just regular water that would demonstrate the water that you would use to that would use to be pulled off the ground. As you can see, got a nice nine horse Honda. We've got the roots blower here with a quick connect set up on it and a vacuum release. So if you get too much vacuum on the barrel, it doesn't collapse it. I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing on and you kind of give a demonstration of how this thing works. Bear with me. We're going to give you a quick look inside this barrel to let you see what the water looks like. And suck up into the barrel. Just regular old, nothing fancy water inside the barrel. Now, normally this would be hooked to a pump that would be pumping. I had the pump hooked up, so I'm going to do it the other way that I have set up, which is to use a quick release dump valve. And this could be used if you had a, you can hook a hose on this and run it directly into a sewer and you don't have to run your pump. 
Now if you're not at a sewer location, you have to run it into a tank. You use this water hose here that would be hooked to a uh, containment tank, let's say about a 300 gallon. And when you're done, then you go hook up to a sewer and dump it. So again, pretty simple setup. The pumps usually run about $1,400, $1,700. Just lucky you got this one really cheap. The engine was a freebie. Everything else just common pipe fittings to make it work. And this is my vacuum recovery system that's in the process of being made.